Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, this is Milan Lewis, of course, your financial empowerment mentor. And uh, I'm very happy to uh, have this opportunity to uh, teach you class, mini class number four in my series, Managing Money Intentionally. So today would be our final mini class in this series. And I'm going to talk about golden six golden rules of wealth creation and uh, money mastery. So I'm uh, very happy that I could uh, have this um, uh, lesson share with you. And uh, of course, it's a, um, it's a very um, big, um, a tall order to, to fit this into next 15, 20 minutes. So I will do my best. Um, but uh, obviously it will take longer it's a it's an entire module and several lessons in my uh, in my program last in wealth academy and that brings me to um, something um, that very important announcement that I wanted to share with you as you know last in wealth academy opens it uh, starts on March 21st we open the door to uh, apply for it but the academy starts on March uh, March 1st so you have three days to apply. Yes, this program is by application only because I want to make sure that it's absolutely a right fit for you without any doubts. So it's uh, it's important that uh, you know we brainstorm and look at your goals, financial goals, where you are right now, and see how this program could support you on your uh, journey to financial independence and wealth. So I want to make sure it's a right fit. That's why this program is by application only. Now, uh, as you know, I uh, announced that I was offering a free ticket to my three-day live workshop uh, in the south of France um, at the end of this four months program. So this bonus expired, but today I want to offer you uh, new bonuses. So for those um, uh, those of you who will sign up for this program uh, from between right between today and uh, Wednesday, uh, February 28th, you will receive uh, additional bonuses. Number one, you will receive my uh, training um, uh, Bitcoin and uh, building your wealth program uh, would be uh, offered you uh, free of charge as a, as a package for uh, you being part of Lasting Wealth Academy. You will also receive another program, Be Mindful Investor, where I, I share with you how to invest um, mindfully in the stock market and uh, support the causes that are important to you, support your values. And uh, I also will offer you uh, additional support in addition to four months uh, training uh, that will end at the end of June. I decided to offer additional two months support uh, with a, a bi-weekly coaching uh, calls for another two months because uh, the fourth dimension uh, that I call living magic is a, a bonus gift, is a bonus, so a gift to you. And uh, I want to support you, uh, you and your progress uh, along you taking this course, this program, additional program that is bonus for Last and Wealth Academy. So here you, here you go, you have all these bonuses that I announced today um, for all of you, all of you who will sign up between uh, today and um, midnight on Wednesday, February 28th. All right. So uh, again, I will post the link to uh, Lasting Wealth Academy in case you don't know uh, where to have more information and where to apply. And um, I am ready uh, to uh, teach you this um, uh, fourth mini class in the series of. Um, managing your money intentionally. So I hope you're ready too, and uh, let's begin. So what I will share with you today uh, could uh, seem like a common sense for some of you, or could uh, maybe uh, feel too, uh, too simple, or maybe too complicated for you to implement, right? So I uh, want to tell you that Everything that I share with you, it's not something that I just read in the books or attended the seminar and learned about. I live through this. I compile this, um, um, you know, this points that I will share with you uh, from personal experiences, from trials and errors. And I know that that's what helped me to become financially independent and uh, build my, um, you know, my 
lifestyle that uh, I have right now, which is um, just just my dream life, to be honest with you. So everything that I share is uh, comes from my practical experiences, and uh, I hope you will find some uh, value in them as well. So let's begin. My six golden rules of wealth creation and uh, mastering your money. Rule number one, and I don't know if you want to take notes, that might be a good idea. So rule number one is spend less and save more. This is a foundation for building wealth. You cannot uh, spend more than you make and become wealthy. It just, uh, it, it just not going to happen, right? And I wish I could tell you that you could, uh, hi, Nakisha, thank you for being here. I wish you could, uh, I could tell you that, you know, just go ahead and buy a new car and, you know, and you will, um, you know, use the law of attraction and have all these luxuries around you and somehow all your uh, credit card bills will be paid off. It, from my experience, it's not, uh, not going to work that way. So you definitely need to have a, uh, discipline in terms of your spending. You definitely need to um, learn how to uh, save uh, consistently uh, and um, you know create a, create a good habits uh, in order to do this consistently. And if just happened that you dug yourself in a, in a hole with uh, you know maybe large uh, uh, credit card debt, stop digging. Okay, so that's what I just wanted. Basically, the, the basic message is, um, even regardless where you are right now, it's never too late to start doing the right thing, to start being uh, more mindful about about your spending and your savings. And uh, like I said, in Lasting Wealth Academy, I allocate a lot of time, uh, you know, going through specific strategies about um, this particular uh, very important point in. Uh, um, creating golden rules of uh, wealth creation. So that was number one, spend less and save more. Uh, rule number two, organize your money and manage your money eff effectively, right? So uh, from my experience, money likes purpose. So that's why I like to have buckets. Uh, like I know that you know this, this amount of money I put in my savings, this amount of money I want to spend on my investing. Uh, this is my lifestyle. This bucket is for my lifestyle. Uh, this is for uh, you know maybe some something else that I want to uh, achieve in my life. Like for example, right now I'm I have a bucket to invest in this. Uh, business that I'm uh, uh, that allows me to offer you this free um, free trainings and uh, you know have my team that uh, I have to pay for their services. So money likes purpose, and uh, I suggest that you have a very clear um, goals for how much you want to put in what buckets, right? And you know everybody will have different buckets, but all of you. I, I hope we'll have a bucket for like saving for emergency fund, uh, eventually maybe for investing, and uh, that will allow you to grow your wealth. So again, I um, believe that it's important to uh, have purpose for your money and develop, um, like I mentioned before, develop a good financial discipline and good financial habits to follow. So it will not be like you have to, uh, you know, do something uh, occasionally because you remember that, you know, I have to pay this bill or I have to, you know, save money um, for, for the rain day. It's not, it's not like that, you know, make it your habit, make it your uh, everyday kind of uh, routine that you know that, you know, once you have the income, that's what you, that, that's how you distribute your uh, money and uh, so you will not need to um, worry about something that may may require unexpected expense because you will have uh, money allocated for this. So be mindful. That's the whole this the whole series that I'm you know teaching in this mini classes is about managing money intentionally. And when I say managing money intentionally, uh, part of this is knowing. Uh, the purpose for your money. So 
I also want to um, uh, share with you item number three, which I think is very important that you need to act as a wealth builder. What does it mean, act as a wealth builder? Meaning that you need to be aware that you become wealthier or richer. You become richer every month and every year, not the other way around, okay? So for that, um, to feel that, to feel and not only feel richer, because we're all rich, but not only feel richer, but actually see it in your bank account, see the proof of this, it's important that you have this discipline, this financial disciplines that I told you earlier about, right? So make sure that your um, net worth, the, 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 uh, all, the, all the money, all the assets that you have, doesn't decrease with uh, every month and every year, so that overall your net worth will increase. And to do that, you basically need to spend less than you uh, earn and um, invest grow your wealth right and um in basically investment is the way to leverage so another uh, aspect of acting as a as a, a wealth builder it means being able to leverage your resources whether it's your time whether it's your money whether it's your energy whatever resources you have you need to find a way to leverage in order to uh, act as a wealth builder <clears throat> and forms of leverage uh, um, like building building business and then at some point selling the business that's that's form of uh, building wealth or investing in the stock market uh, strategically so you will not uh, you know lose your money in the stock market like a lot of people uh, happen to have this experience but you will actually grow your money on the stock market um, another one um, uh, aspect of leverage um, while you act as the wealth builder is to invest in rental real estate, etc. So this is this the, uh, just having this awareness that you are your own wealth builder will help you to be maybe more mindful and more intentional with your money. Okay, so that was number <clears throat> point number three. Uh, point number four is you need to manage your risk. Um, I happened to come across um, quite a few people who wanted to catch up because they, you know, they were not mindful about managing their money and they were like, you know, buying the fancy cars or maybe, you know, going on fancy vacations. They were not uh, planning uh, for maybe, you know, if they want to have financial freedom later on in life. They were spending everything that they were uh, making um, or even more. Right, so a lot of uh, high earners um, have this experience when they, uh, you know, no matter how much they make, they spend even more. So at some point, some people feel that you know, I need to, I need to make money. I need to uh, buy cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, with everything that I have because I will become millionaire, um, like other people I, I hear on the TV. Or, um, you know, some maybe friend uh, suggests you to jump into some, you know, business uh, uh, venture, which you, you know, you don't take time to do your due diligence. Um, how do you think I know that? I've done it, right? So uh, ma manage your risk because building wealth, one of the most important aspects of building wealth is uh, managing your risk, knowing your risk and, and find a way to manage it. And um, in the Last in Wealth Academy, of course, I teach uh, different uh, risk management strategies. But uh, for now, we just know that do your due diligence, uh, see that um, if you want to take the risk, it should be calculated risk, right? Don't put all your um, eggs in one basket. Don't invest everything in, in one particular um, opportunity or in one particular asset. Um, Take calculated risk. Every investment, every investment uh, involves risk, right? So that's just, uh, you know, built in in, in uh, investment. And sometimes it's very important to be able to take this risk because if you don't take the risk, um, you know, you may not reap the great opportunities that some investments offer. Uh, however, you, you should also not lose your sleep 
over taking the risk. So I always like to say that, you know, take the risk up to your sleeping point. If you feel that you're so worried about uh, the investment that you make, whether it's a stock market or whether you invest it in, uh, you know, in some uh, um, opportunity, business opportunity in some business uh, or some joint venture with someone else, you know, make sure that, you know, you calculate what, what could be consequences if this deal does not work out. Uh, it should not, you know, leave you without money paying for groceries. It should not leave you without money paying for rent or paying for, for your, um, you know, maybe kids' uh, uh, kindergarten or um, college. So it, it has to be, um, it has to, risk needs to be uh, considered before you make the decision to invest in something. So that was number four. Um, golden rule number five is give generously and receive gratefully. Money is energy. We all know that by now, right? So money needs to circulate to um, not, you know, so it will not, it will not stagnate. So it's very important to use a um, portion of your income uh, and give it toward, um, you know, supporting the causes that you believe in. Uh, I'm a big believer in, in uh, uh, giving money uh, as well as receiving money. So I support several uh, uh, charities uh, like Clean Water and uh, Cancer Research and uh, children with, uh, you know, physical uh, disabilities, uh, etc. So I support this um, uh, causes and I vote for this support with my money. And that's very important that you... Uh, are in a position to um, you know give with what you what you receive so you feel um, good and um, uh, in integrity with your values okay and it's also very important to receive so when uh, you know when you offer some services like I'm offering these services to my clients and I believe uh, you know to the bottom of my heart that what I offer is very valuable, is very, is very transformative in their lives. I, uh, I totally f in, a, in a state of receiving, you know, I feel that um, my services are valuable and uh, I um, deserve to receive and I want you to feel that way as well. So that was rule number five. And the next rule is rule number six. And we kind of touched on this rule already, but I want to, um, I, I wanted to have it as a separate rule because it's that important. And this rule number six is cultivate and maintain your discipline with your wealth creation efforts. Cultivate in and maintain the discipline with your health, uh, wealth creation uh, habits, health as well, right? So nothing happened uh, just because you do something one time uh, or once in a while. Uh, it has to be consistent. It has to be, um, you know, weekly attitudes that you develop or, or daily uh, money habits that you, um, a routine that you have uh, from mindset to, uh, you know, physical managing money, uh, you know, in your bank accounts, etc. So it has to be established uh, over time and you have to practice and practice and practice because otherwise just, you know, doing the suggestions that I uh, shared with you once in a while time, it will not work. So yes, it is a different uh, um, maybe attitude than you had before. Maybe not. Maybe you already have this and I, I'm very, I would be very happy to hear if you share this. But if you still uh, feel that there are some uh, areas where you could improve your discipline, your um, you know, daily uh, uh, routine when it comes to mindset, your uh, maybe weekly um, discipline with checking your bank accounts and checking uh, you know, what, uh, how you allocated money and you know, how your uh, balances grow and planning your um, you know, you're spending um, ahead, that would help you a lot. 
So because I believe that in order to uh, grow and manage your wealth, you have to have a very clear financial structure. Clear, when I say clear financial structure um, and, and discipline that I just mentioned, uh, I'm uh, referring to organizing your money so you're able to save, you're able to spend, uh, you're able to manage your risk uh, when you make the decisions to uh, spend, and uh, especially when you make the decision to invest, and also have a time horizon for everything that you uh, plan your money for, right? So, uh, you know, by what, uh, how much money you need to um, uh, have if you plan to buy a house, how much money you need to have uh, if you plan to pay for your uh, college kit and how to allocate and what accounts to put that. Again, this is a, this is very um, uh comprehensive topic to cover in the mini class but I wanted to give you this overview so you will see that this is in your control it's absolutely doable and I absolutely be believe that it is possible uh, for every woman who feels that that's what she wants and that nothing will stop her because it's that important for her to become financially uh, independent it's that important for her stop worrying about money and be uh, master her money and make her money work for her because so many people work and work and work for their money and uh, they rarely make time to find ways to make uh, their money work for them so I thought it's it was very very important to share and um, you know I sometimes um, hear that money is an oxygen you know it's it's that important as oxygen and uh, uh, you know you you know if you don't uh, have oxygen in your life you will die and you know my point uh, in in everything that I share with you I don't like drama I don't like drama in any aspect of my life including money so let's just say that money is not oxygen uh, but it's also a very essential tool in your life and it does it does um, require your attention and your uh, respectful attitude toward this. So, and it's also very interesting. Um, there is interesting aspect about money because you may uh, have a lot of money and still feel miserable, and you you may have uh, you know much less um, you know not not a mansion house but nice comfortable house. And enjoy, uh, you know, people who live with you. Enjoy uh, your family. Enjoy your work. So it's, you know, that's why what I teach uh, is integrative approach to building wealth, because I believe that money is, uh, uh, it's not the end. It's means to an end. And I feel that it's important to master your money, but at the same time, always, always see bigger picture of what you're creating, why you want what you want, what, uh, how it will make your life richer, how it will make you feel more um, fulfilled maybe. Um, maybe you want to, to build legacy. Uh, so whatever it is for you, it's very important to know um, what, what you want and why you want it, okay? So that's, Pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this um, uh, mini class number four in the series of managing your money intentionally. Uh, but I'm not saying goodbye because tomorrow I will be back uh, streaming live here at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Uh, London time, because I want to uh, share with you some of the questions that I've been asked. You know, people PM me or email me with questions. And I think some of these questions are very valuable and could help you to, um, you know, maybe to answer some of your questions. So I will have Q&A um, session tomorrow, at, uh, like I said, uh, here at 2, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So uh, bring your questions. I would be happy to answer them. And again, I mentioned uh, additional bonuses uh, that you will receive if you apply um, uh, to the Lasting Wealth Academy 
starting today until Wednesday midnight. So I hope you will take on this opportunity. And um, I uh, appreciate that you took time to listen to me today, to watch this video. And I will see you again tomorrow, right here at that time. Thank you very much and sending you much love and blessings.